If you think that all snakes are tiny and small, then think again, because if you've ever encountered any of these massive creatures, you cannot deny their massive size and strength. You should see some of the largest snakes ever found. But then again, why wait? Because we've compiled a list of some of the most humongous creepy crawlers ever, and we have them all ready for you to enjoy in this video. Anacondas are easily amongst the biggest and most menacing snakes of the world. They're known for their size and immense strength, particularly their ability to strangle their prey. You know, since they don't have any venom to bring them down. Nevertheless, for an anaconda to effectively get its prey, a lot of things need to be right. In the first clip, we see a menacing video where an anaconda gets behind a baby cow and tries to bring it down using nothing but brute force. Hoje, 22 de janeiro, aqui na Fazenda Araponga. A presepada que aconteceu aqui hoje. O sucuri pegou o bezerro e não deu conta de engolir. As you can see, the anaconda is at a bit of a disadvantage in this one. The calf is standing up straight, and the snake is pretty much only able to clamp its teeth on its leg. But as it tried to bite down the calf's leg, it found that it was just unable to get the leverage it needed to weigh it down. To make things worse, the calf, rightfully scared, began to move around hysterically. I can't even imagine how terrifying the moment must have been for it. Fortunately, there was a group of farmers on the scene who eventually helped the calf to break free of the anaconda's bite, but that help should have come much earlier. Pythons are very fearsome and menacing, and they literally scare the pants off of most other animals. I mean, you've got fully grown human beings seeing these snakes and making a run for it. So imagine how scared that most other animals would be of them. Still, though, it appears that some animals might not necessarily care so much for running hysterically when they meet a snake, for some apparent reason. In this next clip, we'll be taking you back to October of 2012 when a python came across three young boars in the forests of Florida. Apparently, those boars had broken off from a group of others and were forging for food in the forests, unaware that this python had been stalking them for the longest time. What was even more insane was the fact that the python literally came face to face with these succulent pieces of meat, and they just didn't give a damn. Can you imagine how insulted the python must have felt? Either the boars didn't know, or they didn't care, and they still presented with such a sweet opportunity, you would best believe the python struck first, and struck hard. You don't care about the huge predator that's coming at you? Well, that's what you're gonna get. Personally, I think the people who choose to work at snake shelters are some of the most brave people in the world. These guys undergo immense training to ensure that they're properly ready for their work, but even then, the snakes that they encounter will often be pretty finicky. In this next clip, we see a handler at a snake shelter trying to bring out an albino python for an exhibition, but while he seemed pretty confident in his skills and was demonstrating how to approach the serpent, it appeared to have been triggered. She's going to feel that it's a hook and not food. Fortunately for the guy, the python was not venomous. He was pretty lucky as well, because with the position the snake bit him, things could have been much more lethal if there was any venom involved. To make things even worse, it appeared that the snake had already gotten agitated by the entire encounter, and as the guy tried putting it back in its enclosure, it made a quick heel turn. Don't worry guys, I'm a trained professional. The crazy thing was how the guy just kept saying, I'm a professional, while he was getting owned by the snake. Trust me, professional or not, these guys are not to be messed with. If you're holding a snake, I think it's safe to say that you want to be present all throughout. I mean, the very last thing that you want is to lose focus and end up with a snake all around your neck. 
But this park ranger apparently didn't seem to get that memo. He had been called by the local community to help address a massive python sighting, and to his credit, he actually did his job quite well. At the point when he handled the python, the guy was pretty much a hero to everyone in the community, and this is kind of when things begin to go downhill. You see, someone close to the ranger wanted to take a selfie with him, and instead of focusing on the python, he actually obliged. In that split moment, the ranger had lost his hold on the python and pretty much almost sealed his own fate. The snake immediately formed a coil around his body and began to tighten. Fortunately for the ranger, one of his assistants was able to break the snake's hold on him. What a lucky guy, though, considering that could have easily gone south. When you spend most of your life around snakes, I reckon that you'll get more comfortable with them and not really see them as what they are, insanely dangerous animals that can cause some real damage. This next guy appeared to fancy himself as a badass. He took a python by the head and proceeded to taunt it, probably to show off to his fans and friends on social media or something. Now at first, it was a series of blowing and spitting in the python's face, and then the guy gets really cocky and decides to place the python literally on his own face. And let's just say things did not go quite that well for him. Yikes! Now he has to look for how to get the python's teeth out of his head. Sure, the snake is not venomous and all, but even still, there is a lesson to be learned here. Just stop being horrible to animals. If you have a job to do and you find yourself suddenly visited at the workplace by an unwanted guest, chances are you'd feel pretty bummed out about it, so you can only imagine how these guys felt. In this next video, we see the chilling moment when a delivery driver was about to enter his car, only to find that a slithering snake had already beat him to it. According to reports, the snake had apparently crawled into the vehicle through its fence and pretty much just sat on the dashboard. I don't know about you, but that snake kind of has an ownership mentality. I mean, the nerve of the guy to just sit on the dashboard and wait for someone to drive it around town. Fortunately, the snake was removed from the car without any issues, but boy could you imagine how it would have been if it had come out of the vents while the driver was there. Yikes! If you're ever going to visit a water body, you really need to be careful not to incur the wrath of a sea snake. They may prefer to stay in water and not come onto the land, but these guys definitely have their own temper. Our next video shows the moment when a guy on a fishing trip got an unwelcome visitor literally in his boat. The guy, who apparently runs a YouTube channel, had decided to take some time out and go fishing in what appeared to be a swamp. I mean, why go to a river or a lake when you can literally risk your life by entering an unknown swamp to fish? Anyways, while he was fishing and having a good time, he reached out to his side and caught what appeared to be a snake lurking and gearing up to pounce on him. Oh! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, shoot! It's a bit difficult to see what type of snake that it was, but I'm actually surprised that it didn't turn and snip him just a little. Either the snake was looking to get something else, or just was not in the mood to eat anything that day. Whatever it may have been, I think the guy should definitely count himself lucky. If you think that humans are the only species that don't like snakes, well, you'll be surprised. Even sea snakes definitely have a lot of haters, and at the end of the day, no one wants to get bitten. For this next clip, we see an insane encounter between a sea snake and a moray eel. According to the person who posted the video, the clip would be shot at a beach in Indonesia. It featured a sea snake itself chomping into a hole around a coral reef and literally pulling out an eel. The moment that it did that, the fight was on. And what an awesome battle that it was. Although the snake fought valiantly, it appeared that it was unable to overpower the moray eel, and after the tense battle, the guy decided that it just wasn't worth it and that he'd go look for food elsewhere. And as for the eel, I'm pretty sure it would have a pretty sick story to tell its buddies back in the reef. Personally, one of the biggest fears that I have is sitting on the toilet and having a snake crawl up there to bite my tush. 
I just don't know if it's the movies or if I've seen some kind of crazy book that I've read, but this is a major fear that I actually have. Anyways, while this is just a fear for me, it's kind of a reality for some others. Earlier this year, a woman in Tucson, Arizona went viral after she posted a video of a snake in her toilet that was being taken out. Although a snake in a toilet is alarming, Hughes told KPHO it's rare to see. According to her, she had been on vacation for a while, and when she returned to her home, she discovered the black viper chilling in her toilet. Can you simply imagine how scary that must have been? Fortunately, she found the snake before she sat down, and she was able to call a local exterminator service to help and get it out. Easter Egg Hunt When Easter comes around, it's always one of the most exciting days of the year. Everyone goes around collecting eggs and designing Easter bunnies. If you think a snake crawling up your toilet is bad, how about having one literally come to you while you sleep? This next video would be shot in Thailand, showing the moment that a snake somehow found its way into an old lady's room while she slept. The clip is apparently taken in 2019, showing a lady sleeping comfortably as a snake crawls also ever closely to her bed. Fortunately for her, she was able to get up just in time to catch the home invader. After the brief battle, she was able to keep the snake at bay and call for experts to help her get it out of the house. <laughs> this must have been a really traumatizing experience for her. I mean, personally, I don't really care. I would be out of that house that night and never have come back. But perhaps that's just me. Have you ever had a snake come into an enclosed space while you were there? It's scary, isn't it? You have absolutely no idea how crazy it can get, though. This next clip was captured by CCTV cameras in a cyber cafe in Thailand back in 2017. A guy was on his way out of the place, but he had no idea there was a snake just close to the door. The moment he finally found out what was taking place, he immediately lost his mind, and so did everyone else. Reports confirmed that the snake in particular was a rat snake, a non-venomous serpent that poses little to no threat to humans, but still, you can understand why these cyber cafe guys were scared out of their minds. Even in the animal kingdom, there's a common principle. Mothers would do anything to defend their babies. Back in 2021, popular animal handler Jay Brewer got a perfect exhibition of this when he tried to take a python's egg while it was still there. While Jay was an expert and was trying different maneuvers, it was pretty obvious that the mama python was not messing around. And as soon as he got too close for comfort, she then pounced on him. Come on, girl. She's like, hey, I finally laid some eggs and you're going to take them from me? Yes, because we wanted to hatch, because they won't hatch otherwise. Come on, girl. Come on. So the good part is with this small clutch, I can levitate. Oh, man. Oh, I got it right in the face. I knew this was going to be that video. Blood and all. Jay was only spared due to his quick reflexes, and trust me, that could have been a really sticky situation. The Burmese python is known to be one of the largest and deadliest snakes in the world. Like many pythons, these guys don't have any venom, but to be honest, they don't really need it either. The bite of the Burmese python is especially strong and capable of causing severe lacerations. Besides that, the snakes are known for their ability to wrangle and strangle their prey, as soon as they catch it. Over the past few years, there have been a bit of a resurgence for these snakes. They're generally native to Southeast Asia, but they've become especially prominent in the United States, particularly in the Florida Everglades. In this next clip, we see a moment when a man in Florida apparently had a crazy encounter with a Burmese python that he'd found close to a sidewalk. Losing it, Jake. Oh! oh. Let's go! Dude! You got tape on you? I know you carry tape. <laughs> Honestly, you've got to give it to the guy. Not only did he display an insane amount of skill to catch the python's head, but he was also able to hold his own and stop the python from squeezing the air out of his lungs. And with the help of people around him, he had managed to walk away unscathed. One of the reasons why snakes are so deadly is that they tend to find the perfect places to hide. 
In fact, you've got snakes that are so great at camouflaging that they literally hide in plain sight. For this next clip, we see a perfect example of that. A YouTube content creator who focuses on wildlife was taking a tour of a natural reserve in Maryland when he ran into a completely unexpected interloper on the road. I'm gonna leave the camera on now the whole time. Just use up my batteries. That way I don't miss any footage. Even by merely looking at the ground, you barely see anything there, but it was there all right. If you look close enough, you'll see the little rascal curled up on the sidewalk. Not good at all, not good at all, not good at all. Shit. Um, okay, that is good. Apparently, that was a copperhead snake. Copperheads are known for their dirt brown color, which sets them apart from most other snakes, and because the snake's color blended so perfectly with the sidewalk, it would have been almost impossible for the guy to notice it, especially since he was so busy filming his tour of the park. Fortunately for the guy, the copperhead snake is not known to possess especially potent venom, so he had had enough time to get a park ranger who came on the scene and administered an antivenom while removing the snake in a professional way. For this next video, we see a guy who had apparently been exploring a water body somewhere and ended up spotting a snake that was close to him. Despite not having much in terms of tools, he was able to fetch a grabbing stick from his boat which he had used to hold the snake with some impressive skill. With the snake firmly in his hands, the guy decided to take it and showcase it using his camera on the boat. And for some reason, the snake was not all that pleased with this idea, and it showed its agitation immediately by lunging towards the camera. Yeah, something tells me that the snake was not all too happy about being on television. A few years ago, this hilarious yet deadly clip would hit the internet showing a moment when a bunch of snake experts were called in to help get rid of a Burmese python that had invaded the local farmland. The experts, who suspiciously got on the scene without much in terms of tools and equipment, eventually got to the location and found that the python had apparently climbed a tree and was all curled up on its branch. And so, one of them decided to climb up there and get it off, and that did not go as planned. The guy immediately knew that he was at a disadvantage, and he did his best to get away from the python. It was a pretty scary situation, but the guys managed to catch the python and get it off of the farmland. Here's a quick tip, don't try this again. Experts who handle snakes and extract their venom to make antivenom are the real heroes. Without them, who knows how many people would have perished from a snake bite. Now, to be a venom extractor, you need to be incredibly careful. You'll have to work in close proximity to snakes, and even the slightest mistake could prove to be lethal. Back in 2010, George Van Horn, a renowned herpetologist, had learned this firsthand while trying to extract the venom from a rattlesnake. As the clip will show, all it took was for George to get too close to the serpent and then get bitten. Fortunately for him, there was an antivenom facility close to his location, and he was able to get the treatment that he desperately needed. A Florida woman got the ultimate surprise on her New Year's Day adventure when she and her friends encountered a massive Burmese python in the middle of a two-lane road. Kimberly Strimpak Clark, driving with her friends, took a video of the encounter, which she later shared on Instagram. The video shows a 15-foot-long snake slithering across the road in front of their car, with a robotic voice from the GPS system saying, proceed to the route in the background. Clark captioned the video with a humorous dig at the voice, saying, no, Siri, we don't want to proceed to the route. Burmese pythons are a non-venomous species of constrictor that have become invasive in Florida, primarily found around the Everglades in southern Florida. Their massive size threatens native wildlife, which includes birds, mammals, alligators, and pets, and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission has deemed them to be an environmental hazard, requiring them to be humanely killed if captured. Although Clark and her friends could not capture the python, they reported its location to the state as required by law. Some who watched the video questioned why they didn't run over the snake, 
but Clark explained that it was too risky for their car, themselves, and other drivers. Despite the potential danger, Clark and her friends were thrilled to have seen such an impressive creature up close. With a reputation for being one of the most aggressive pythons, these serpents cannot be tamed like their Burmese counterparts. In fact, they're so irritable that they're born striking. Native to Sub-Saharan Africa, these pythons can grow to be 20 feet long and feast on small mammals, antelope, warthogs, and herons. But beware, the slithery creatures have made their way to Miami, Florida, a state that's already overrun by alien snakes. While lacking venom, the African rock python makes up for it in powerful constricting capability. It coils around its prey, squeezing their life out until they take their last breath. And if that wasn't terrifying enough, the python also features long and curved teeth that can inflict some deep wounds. But the African rock python's reputation for being aggressive and dangerous was made clear in 2013 when it killed two boys in New Brunswick, Canada. The python had escaped from a specially made enclosure in an apartment above their friend's father's pet store, crawled through the air duct, and then fell through a ceiling tile where the boys were sleeping. It's a tragic reminder that even the most seemingly harmless pets can also be unpredictable. Rhett and Taylor Stanberry, a husband and wife snake-catching duo, were called to a property in Estero, Lee County, South Florida, to remove two eastern diamondback rattlesnakes. According to the Stanberries, the male and female snakes were breeding pairs and measured to be four and five and a half feet in length, respectively. These snakes are the largest rattlesnake species and one of the heaviest known venomous snakes that are native to the southeastern United States. They can grow to be an average length of three to six feet, weighing two to four pounds, but the largest specimens can reach eight feet and weigh up to 10 pounds. The snakes have brown, tan, or yellow skin with brown diamonds along their back and a cream outline. When the Stanberries arrived at the property, they safely captured the snakes that were hiding in a hedge using snake hooks. They even found that the female snake had a big meal in its stomach, probably a rabbit, before they relocated them to both a safe location in the wild. In a YouTube video that was posted to Toby's Troop channel, Red Stanberry explained that these snakes were out and about during the breeding season, looking for a cozy place to nestle up. Once the snake catchers had captured the two snakes, they released them to a perfect rattlesnake habitat. There is a cypress forest and pine trees on the other side, and the Stanberries wanted to release them into the same area in case they had some more business to finish. Many sightings can be explained by the increasing development in South Florida, and rattlesnakes along with other species are displaced turning up in residential areas. These snakes can inflict fatal pain upon a human in severe cases. However, rattlesnakes generally prefer to flee from a human encounter. Therefore, it's recommended that you give the animal space to sneak away if you should have an encounter with one. Black mambas can be found in southern and eastern Africa's savannas and rocky hills. They're also the longest venomous snake in Africa, reaching up to 14 feet long. That's longer than a school bus. They're no slouches either, as they can slither up to 12 and a half miles per hour. Talk about a speedy snake. Now don't let their name fool you though, black mambas are actually not black, but their mouths are. When threatened, these shy snakes will show off their blue-black mouth coloration to tell you that they mean business. And let me tell you, when black mambas get angry, they do mean business. These snakes are known to be highly aggressive when threatened and can repeatedly strike injecting a potent combination of neuro and cardiotoxins with each bite. Before the advent of the black mamba antivenom, a bite from one of these deadly creatures was almost always fatal, usually within 20 minutes. And unfortunately, the antivenom is still not widely available in rural parts of their range, putting pressure on the species and contributing to more dangerous human contact. With olive green scales and a yellow and black belly, this serpent is a true chameleon of the animal kingdom. Its color and pattern provide the perfect camouflage in its habitat's wet, dense vegetation, but beware of its ability to blend in. This apex predator is a force to be reckoned with. Green boa constrictors are well adjusted to oceanic life, with their noses and eyes placed on their heads to assist them in seeing and breathing, whereas swimming in the water. And when the water is rare, they have the extraordinary capacity to burrow into the mud. 
The estimate of the green boa constrictor is really awe-inspiring. Females can reach lengths of up to 30 feet, breadths of 12 inches, and can weigh a mind-blowing 550 pounds. This South American snake is most commonly found in the Orinoco Bowl in Colombia, the Amazon Stream Bowl in Brazil, and the overwhelmed Lanos Prairies in Venezuela. They incline towards shallow and slow-moving waters like streams, rivers, and overwhelmed prairies, spending most of their time within the water, but can also be found on arrival in thick vegetation, frequently in trees. Green anacondas are non-venomous constrictors. They use their strong jaws and muscular bodies to suffocate their prey, all before swallowing it whole. And their prey can be quite large, which includes deer, capybaras, caimans, and even large birds. These creatures have slow metabolisms and only need to eat once every few weeks, except for the breeding females. During the mating season, males will form groups and surround the female, competing for access. The mating can last up to a month when the female will then mate several times, and afterwards the female may consume one or smaller males as she will not eat again for seven months. Females give live birth in the water, and a single litter can contain anywhere from 20 to 40 young. The largest litter on record was an incredible 82 young, and green anacondas have an average lifespan of about 10 years in the wild. However, in domestication, they can live much longer, with some reports of anacondas living well into their late 20s. A group of dam workers would stumble upon what could have been the biggest snake in history. This 33-foot-long yellow anaconda weighed 882 pounds and was found in a cave in the northern state of Para after a controlled explosion. The workers were absolutely terrified when they came across this huge reptile, which was later found to have had a diameter of one meter. Can you imagine the shock of seeing a huge body lifted by a crane? Despite the intimidating size, the yellow anaconda is a non-venomous species, like all boas and pythons. It kills its prey by constriction and is one of the giant snakes of the world, though smaller than its close relative, the green anaconda. These snakes are known to be solitary creatures and can be active both during the day and the night. They spend most of their lives in or around the water, sometimes called water boas. Interestingly, they can also be seen floating atop the surface while in the water with their snouts poking out. Yellow anacondas are considered timid and prefer to escape from predators, but will defend themselves when they're threatened. As carnivores, they feed almost exclusively upon aquatic or semi-aquatic species like mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and eggs. Larger specimens can even prey on bigger animals such as brocket deer, capybaras, and pecaris. Indonesia is a nation that's like no other, spanning over 3,000 miles along the equator and encompassing a staggering 17,000 islands. Its natural wonders vary greatly with tropical forests that ascend from humid lowlands to mountainous peaks on some isles. However, the most magnificent aspect of Indonesia is its vast rainforests, home to an abundance of exotic animals like majestic tigers and rhinos, agile bats, and massive snakes. Sadly though, human encroachment is leading to the rapid destruction of these forests, which only increases the frequency of dangerous incidents as humans continue to invade the habitats of these wild beasts. In a story that will make your skin crawl, one woman in Indonesia would meet a gruesome fate after being swallowed alive by an amethystine python. Talk about a terrifying way to go. According to reports, she was collecting rubber when she disappeared. Her husband had found her belongings, but not her body. Imagine his shock when he discovered a giant snake with a bulging stomach in the same area. His worst fear would be confirmed when locals cut the snake open and found the undigested remains of his wife. The shocking incident understandably went viral and has been documented in graphic detail in a video that shows villagers cutting the python's belly open to reveal what officials believe to be the chewed body of the missing grandmother. Reports would suggest that the python might have bitten her before wrapping itself around her body and then swallowing her whole in a painful ordeal that would last at least two hours. That's a painful way to go, and I can't even begin to imagine what the victim and her family went through. Did you know that 37 snake species called North Carolina home? But don't worry, most of them are harmless to humans and pets. 
However, a recent scare occurred when a South American red-tailed boa constrictor was found behind a restaurant in Matthews. You may think that having a pet snake is cool, but it's also important to be a responsible pet owner and not release it into the wild when you can no longer take care of it. Thankfully, the people at Carolina Waterfowl Rescue would take the boa in, whom they then named Sheba, and they're giving her a safe place to stay. Director Jennifer Gordon reminds everyone that although Sheba is not venomous and wouldn't harm a human due to her size, it's still not a great idea to encounter her in the woods. She says it would probably scare the crud out of anybody who saw it, and if you care about an animal like this, you wouldn't do that because most people would kill it. Officer Jeremy Schnabel of Matthews Animal Control is frustrated that Sheba's previous owner did not give her up to a rescue group or organization instead of releasing her into the woods. With its impressive size and venomous bite, the King Cobra is an intimidating sight. But despite its fearsome reputation, this slithering serpent is a pretty shy creature and would rather avoid humans whenever possible. Of course, if you do happen to stumble across a king cobra in the wild, you'd better hope that it's in a good mood because these snakes have been known to stand up and look a full-grown person in the eye. When threatened, king cobras can lift up to a third of their body off the ground and move forward to attack. It's an awe-inspiring sight, but fortunately, most of us will never have to experience it firsthand. Of course, even if you avoid being bitten by a king cobra, you still wouldn't want to get too close. These snakes can grow up to be about 18 feet long, making them the longest venomous snake in the world. And while their venom may not be the most potent, the amount that they can deliver in one single strike is enough to kill 20 people or even an elephant. That's right, these snakes are not to be messed with. So where exactly are the king cobras? While well, these creatures live primarily in India, China, and Southeast Asia, their colors differ from the individual region. Their home in various settings includes bamboo forests, groves, mangrove swamps, high-altitude grasslands, and rivers, so if you can visit these parts of the world, do keep your eyes peeled, because you never know what you may come across. King cobras are also known for their unique nesting behavior. Unlike most snakes, which lay their eggs and leave them to hatch on their own, the king cobra will build a nest for their eggs, which they guard ferociously until the hatchlings emerge. And while they primarily feed on other snakes, both venomous and non-venomous, they'll also eat lizards, eggs, and small mammals. Of course, if you're like most people, your first exposure to the king cobra probably comes from watching a snake charmer in South Asia. These performers have been known to coax these snakes into dancing to the sound of a flute, but as it turns out, this practice is actually quite cruel. While king cobras can hear, they are deaf to ambient noise, sensing ground vibrations instead. So when a snake charmer plays the flute, the cobra isn't actually dancing, it's just trying to escape the noise, and unfortunately, it's often subjected to cruel treatment as part of conditioning it not to strike the flutist. The eastern brown snake is native to eastern and central Australia and southern New Guinea, this species is known for its slender build and can grow to be about 2 meters, or 7 feet in length. But what really catches the eye is their incredible coloration. The surface color of the snake can range anywhere from pale brown to black, that features a cream yellow underside, often adorned with orange or gray splotches. It's like a fashion show that's contained on a snake. Now, you may be wondering where to find these stylish snakes. The eastern brown snake is found in most habitats except dense forests, but can often be found on the outskirts of urban areas and in farmland. Why, you may ask? Well, that's because they love to eat their main prey, the house mouse. And let's be honest, who doesn't love a good mouse for dinner? Mmm, delicious. Don't let their love for mice fool you, though. These snakes are highly venomous. And in fact, the eastern brown is considered to be the second most venomous in the world, coming in just behind the inland taipan of East Central Australia. In fact, they're responsible for more deaths from snake bites in Australia than any other species of snake, and are the foremost commonly experienced snake in Adelaide, Melbourne, Canberra, Sydney, and Brisbane. Despite their dangerous reputation, though, the eastern brown are quite fascinating. They're generally solitary creatures, with females and younger males avoiding the adults. They are active during the day and hunt mainly by sight. They love to forage for prey and raise their heads like periscopes 
in order to survey the landscape for their next meal. Plus, their defensive displays are a sight to behold. When confronted, the eastern brown snake will react with one of two neck displays. During a partial display, they raise the front part of their body horizontally just off the ground, flattening their neck and sometimes opening their mouth. In a full display, they'll rise vertically high off the ground, coiling their neck into an S shape and opening their mouth. They say back off because I'm stylish, but yet I'm dangerous. This massive creature would be discovered on a construction site, and initial estimates would suggest that it could have been the longest snake ever captured. That's right, I'm talking about a behemoth of a reptile that could measure to be up to 8 meters in length. That's longer than your average school bus. The reticulated python, a species commonly found in Southeast Asia, would be spotted where a flyover was being built, and authorities quickly jumped into action to catch the beast. According to an official with the Malaysian department that caught the snake, workers from the construction site called emergency services when they spotted the python. It took authorities 30 minutes to trap the giant snake, which weighed a whopping 250 kilograms. However, the story turned sad as we learned that the python died shortly after laying its eggs. It's unclear why the serpent perished, but what is clear is that kicking the snake certainly did not help matters. A video on the Malaysian Star News website shows a man using his foot to nudge the python, which is never a good idea when dealing with wild animals. Have you ever seen or heard of a snake that was so big that it takes 15 people to hold it? Let me introduce you to Medusa, the world's largest snake in captivity. This massive python weighs over 300 pounds, measuring 25 feet long, and is only 8 years old. That's right, she's still growing. Medusa lives at the edge of Hell Haunted House attraction in Kansas City, Missouri, and is cared for by her trainer, Larry Elgar. Despite her intimidating size, Larry is not afraid of the snake. He understands that she has the power to kill him, but he has no fear. In fact, he believes that fear is just a lack of understanding. To keep Medusa healthy and growing, she's fed every two weeks with a diet of rabbits, hogs, and deer, and she's also a tolerable snake if she's not agitated hungry or provoked. According to Larry, Medusa can even vocalize. She can purr like a cat when she's happy or huff and hiss when annoyed and distressed. At the age of seven, Medusa was only 24 inches long, but she's now a record-breaking python thanks to her good genetics and proper care. Medusa has even bumped Fluffy, another reticulated python, off the top spot for the longest snake that's living in captivity. These massive hunters can grow up to be about 8 meters long and weigh over 25 kilograms, but don't be fooled by their non-venomous nature. They still have large teeth that they can use to secure their prey. Once they have a meal, they'll then wrap their muscular body into coils and suffocate the prey. They're not picky eaters either, enjoying anything from rodents to even young kangaroos. The female scrub python is a true protective mother, laying up to 20 eggs and then coiling herself on top of them in order to generate heat and then prevent predators from preying upon them. These snakes are often spotted under cover of darkness in search of their next meal, and they have inbuilt infrared or heat-sensitive labial pits that allow them to detect, stalk, and strike their prey accurately at night. And they don't care much about human activity either. Recently, a scrub python would be spotted crossing a street in the Daintree Rainforest, blocking cars that were trying to pass by. One brave man followed closely behind the giant reptile, hands in his pockets. But don't be alarmed, if you leave these incredible creatures alone, well, they'll leave you alone as well. So the next time you explore the tropical rainforests of far north Queensland, you should watch out for this magnificent snake, the scrub python. In 1959, Colonel Remy van Leerd, a Belgian Air Force officer, had a wild encounter with a mysterious creature while flying over the forests in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He spotted a massive snake, estimated to be around 50 feet long, with a head that measured 2 feet wide by 3 feet long. Yikes! If his estimates were accurate, the giant snake would be one of the largest ever recorded. The colonel described the snake's dark and green and brown top scales along with whitish-colored underside. But the real kicker came when the snake reared up. 
almost as if to strike, revealing its underbelly, which the colonel had a chance to observe up close. Talk about a heart-stopping moment. Some reports suggest that an onboard photographer managed to snap a photo of the creature, but unfortunately it was never properly documented. However, the colonel's encounter has led many to speculate about the origins of the Congo giant snake. Some believe it could be a massively oversized African rock python, while others suggest that it may be an entirely new snake species altogether. And if we let our imaginations run wild, maybe it's even a descendant of the giant Eocene snake, Gigantopus. One of the largest snake species that are native to the United States, the eastern indigo snake is one impressive creature. With a uniform blue-black coloration and iridescent purple scales, it's difficult not to be awestruck by their beauty. These snakes can be found in the southeastern United States, inhabiting various habitats from stream bottoms to dry meadows, and they have various hiding spots that include gopher tortoise burrows to debris piles, so you just never know where they may pop up. Eastern indigo snakes are big fans of snacking and are not picky eaters. They'll eat anything that they can overpower, which includes other snakes, turtles, lizards, frogs, toads, small birds, and mammals. And get this, they even beat their prey against nearby objects in order to kill them. Talk about being a tough predator. And if you do cross paths with an eastern indigo snake, don't worry too much about being bitten. These snakes are non-venomous and would rather run away from you than to be confronted. However, if you do get them riled up, they will begin to hiss, vibrate their tail, and even flatten their neck in defense. So, it's best to just admire them from a safe distance. In the wintertime, eastern indigo snakes hibernate in gopher tortoise burrows, but come summertime, they're on the move, traveling across upland pine hardwood communities and creek bottoms, all in search of food. These snakes are diurnal, meaning that they're active during the day, so keep your eyes peeled for them during your next hike. Now, you know that feeling when you're working and you suddenly see something that freaks the living daylights out of you? Well, you can imagine how these guys felt when they discovered a massive slithering anaconda on their work site. A few years back, this clip surfaced on the internet, showing a moment when a few workers at a forest-based construction site came to work and found that their site had literally been run over with a massive anaconda. According to reports, the clip was discovered in the Dominican rainforest. The construction workers in the scenario had just gotten to work when one of them noticed the massive snake skulking about in the woods. This snake was so large that they literally needed to get a crane to lift it up properly. Can you even imagine the logistics that would have been involved in getting that snake out of there? Yikes! From what it looks like, the snake must have been at least a 10-footer or something. I can't even imagine how mortified the guys must have been. Honestly, the clip really just looks like something out of a CGI playbook. Like how does a snake really get that big? It's just entirely crazy. You know that feeling when you're so comfortable that you forget there's even a threat somewhere? Well, just imagine how this guy must have felt. In 2017, a man named Gerald Haywood would be visiting his friend in Lawton, Oklahoma, when he was suddenly greeted by an unexpected guest. As the footage would show, Gerald was just pulling up to his friend's house when he opened the door and found a snake popping out of nowhere. The bull snake, which was about five feet long, lunged at Gerald, striking him in the eye. Ow! Kurt, take me to the Gerald immediately went into the house and asked his friend Rodney to take him to the hospital, and luckily for him, the bull snake had only missed his eye by a small margin. Right around the eye, eyelid. The fact that the snake itself wasn't actually venomous meant that Gerald didn't need much in terms of medical care. But still though, you have to admire the speed with which he asked to be taken to the hospital, and thank goodness he was safe in the end.
Now, I know the general thing for most people is to try and display ourselves as being macho and able to do anything, but perhaps it's just me. I'm going to be leaving all of that macho stuff to you. Take this next clip, for instance. Back in 2014, a couple of guys decided to head into the Santa Maria River in southwestern Brazil to look for some wildlife. And let's just say that they got a little more than they had initially bargained for. From the looks of things, this was a yellow anaconda, and even more obvious, the animal appeared to have just eaten, so it was in absolutely no mood to be messed with. You would think that the guys would have learned that by now, but no. Instead of leaving the snake on its own, they then decided to taunt it just a little more. And while their actions are equally childish, we do get to really see just how massive the snake was as a result. It really is a good thing that this snake wasn't looking for any smoke. Could you even imagine if it was ravenously hungry and saw two guys trying to grab its tail? It would have been night-night for those guys easily. Interestingly, the antics of these fellas actually landed them in some trouble. Snakes are protected in Brazil, and because of their actions, the guys were hit with a $600 fine and mandated community service by the country's wildlife authorities. In June of 2019, a couple of friends and content creators were out on a sewer fishing trip in Miami when they appeared to catch something way different from what they had expected. The friends began by identifying the sewer they wanted to fish in and were all set to begin hunting for their game. Well, we're going to go ahead and throw some food in here. Check it out. Get over here. Get over here. So I'm just going to jump. At least the guys didn't end up doing something foolhardy like opening the sewer to see the snake. Instead, they called their friend Jacob, who seemed to be a professional snake catcher. I have eggs. Jacob is here. Jacob, you won't believe it. Look what's inside this sewer. Eight to ten foot. Zach, don't, don't even tell foot. him yet. Don't even tell him. Eight to ten foot. Jacob eventually sat down to go take a look at the snake, and even I can feel my heart thumping as he goes further down the sewer. Watch out, watch out, bro. This thing is huge. His head, his head, you just move right there because I'm in here. Oh and my only, gosh. There's only one way out. Oh, I don't want to watch. Can you see him? No. I can see his head in there. Oh my gosh. Slowly and steadily, he pulls the snake out and then reveals it. A massive 15-foot-long serpent. Jeez. I got the net. I got the net. Oh we have plenty of space gosh. back here yes. in our trucks. Okay, you go over there. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Let him run out. out. While the guys were filming, Jacob eventually brought the snake out, revealing its massive body. You want to know just how feared that snakes can be? Well, consider this. When an anaconda is crossing the road, there's a high chance that it'll literally obstruct traffic. In this clip, which was taken back in 2019, we see a moment when traffic was halted in the city of Porto Velo, Brazil. Apparently, everything was going fine on the busy road, when all of a sudden, a snake popped out of nowhere and decided that this was the perfect time to cross the road. And in no time, that snake quickly grew attention. Olha aí, eu vi ela aqui, ó. Olha o tamanho da bicha. Ela vai atravessando. Olha só o tamanho da bicha. Já faz dia. Olha aí, Henrique. Olha o tamanho da bichona. Olha aí, ó. 
You know, I think it's pretty cool that these guys were able to allow the snake to move without any consequence. In some societies, that poor animal would have been butchered right in the middle of the road and then used for its meat. Now, for some people who think that hopping into a tree or something would protect you from a snake looking to eat you, well, I've got some bad news. That strategy might not work as well as you would think. Because even trees are no match for these guys. You see, anacondas might not possess arms and limbs like most other animals, but thanks to their incredibly muscular bodies and ability to squeeze around objects, some of them have been able to adapt to climb trees. Just take a look at this guy, for example. I understand that the climbing pattern is a bit weird and can even be funny, but it's effective nonetheless. And as you can see, the snake was able to climb the tree without so much as breaking a sweat. And it even managed to do it in quick time. You can only imagine the look on the face of an animal that thinks it's escaped this snake by climbing up a tree when it realizes that its attempts were futile. Yet another reason why snakes are amongst the most dangerous predators on all of the planet. Still on the subject of massive snakes being found in Florida, the Everglades have been especially prominent for playing host to some truly massive Burmese pythons. For those who may not know, the Burmese python is one of the largest species of python in the world. However, last year one specific one was discovered in the Everglades that absolutely crushed everyone's expectations. Naturally, Burmese pythons span about 10 to 16 feet when they're fully grown and at their peak, but according to reports, this particular python clocked in at a mind-boggling 18 feet. The female python was so large, in fact, that it literally took a team of experts to even carry it from the wild where it was discovered. Despite the difficulty of the task, they managed to take it back to their conservatory, where they then cared for it. It's by far the largest Burmese python to ever be caught in Florida, and get this, it was apparently pregnant when it was caught. So who knows, in a couple of years, Florida might have several of these Burmese pythons that are equally as large. If that doesn't excite you and give you all the chills at the same time, I don't really know what will. If you're ever looking for nightmare fuel, well, I've got just what you're looking for right here. A few years back, this clip would surface on the internet, showing a moment when a group of snake hunters were sent to a house to help get rid of a snake that was bothering the homeowners. You see, the snake hunters had believed that they were just dealing with a random, everyday snake that was pretty much the standard, and what they would end up with would end up shocking the bejesus out of them. In case you're wondering, that's not one snake, it's three, and I'm pretty sure that each of them must have been nothing less than 10 feet long. To be honest, all of it just got me thinking, what else could have been hiding in that house without the knowledge of the homeowners? I mean, if they didn't know that they had three massive snakes in their house, what else could they not have known about? A tiger? A lion? A military faction? Wow! If you're a fan of nature content and programs where they talk about snakes, there's a high chance that you've come across Fluffy. For those who may not know, Fluffy once used to be the most prized possession of the guys at the Columbus Zoo in Delaware County, Ohio. This reticulated python became incredibly popular back in the day, and there was even a Nat Geo Wild documentary made about her and her incredible size. According to reports, Fluffy was approximately 24 feet long at her peak, and she also weighed an incredible 99.4 kilograms. I can't even imagine how insane that is. 
The snake went on to be named the world's largest snake by the Guinness Book of World Records. The snake was so large, in fact, that it took a team of about five handlers to literally get her out of her container every single day and into an open space where she could then move around and exercise. Then those same people would have to work together once again to get her back in. With Fluffy's incredible size, you can understand how challenging it must have been to move her. Her strength also posed a huge risk to her handlers, but nevertheless, they managed to get things done while ensuring that she was fine. Fluffy's popularity became so intense that she pretty much became a legend in Ohio. And sadly, however, she passed away at the zoo in 2010 after having developed a tumor. Now, I've personally never gone to a wildlife reserve before. You know, those ones where the animals are allowed to roam around without anyone keeping tabs on them. But even if I did, you can bet that I'd want to be in a car where I know I can at least guarantee my safety. For a perfect reason why, we should have this clip. This was taken at a wildlife reserve in Brazil, and it shows a moment when visitors had to pass by a massive anaconda that was just on its own. Now, despite the fact that these guys were obviously not looking to start any trouble, the anaconda apparently felt a bit frisky and was ready to chomp down on anything that it could find. So much so that it went after the vehicle in the video. Now, take a second to imagine if there was no car and the guys were just walking around the reserve when they saw the snake. You don't really need to be an expert in animal science to know that stuff could have easily gone south quickly. And with a snake that big, you better believe that anything it catches would be done. If there's one country that's been incredibly synonymous with snakes over the years, it's Australia. I personally get scared of going down under because you could literally find a snake in the middle of your yard one morning and it would be just a regular Monday. I mean, take a look at this for what I mean. How will we get him away? We won't. They're freaky, aren't they? Oh, Dad could be Means, able to catch him. No. Dad, that's, that's, that's. Means it's Watch so this. much. <gasps> Careful, Lucky. <laughs> 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 be brave. According to sources, the snake in this clip was captured moving from the top of a building into a tree in Queensland. The woman who captured the clip eventually alerted the authorities about the snake and they were able to take it out. Measurements were then done, and it would be discovered that the snake in question had measured a staggering 16 feet in length and was over 200 pounds in weight. With that much force, I'm honestly surprised that it didn't just break the entire tree down when it landed on it. If there's one place in the United States that you can count on to have some of the craziest and most massive snakes, it's got to be Florida for sure. Whether it's in the Everglades or on the mainland, Florida has seen its profile rise significantly as one of the biggest snake hotspots in the country. And recently, we saw yet another piece of proof that snakes in the state do not mess around. A few months back, this clip went viral on the internet, showing the moment when a bunch of python hunters wrestled with a massive anaconda that was said to have been terrorizing the locals in the town of Chokoloski. Losing it, Jake. Let's go! Dude. You got tape on you? I know you carry tape. <laughs> Get this off. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. First of all, props to that snake hunter for his incredible reflexes and the skills that he displayed while nabbing the snake. The creature was ready to pounce, and the guy definitely had to act very fast to make sure that he didn't get bitten. Just as well, he also displayed a lot of strength to hold onto the snake's head while he tried to wrestle out of his control. Any small error, and the story would have ended in a much different way. That all being said, take a moment to admire the sheer size of the serpent. According to reports, the snake measured a staggering 19 feet in length, so it was definitely no slouch. For anyone looking to contend with such a beast, you had better be on your A-game. And fortunately, the guy was sure ready for anything that came his way. At the end of the day, the hunters were able to get the snake out of there and send it to a wildlife reserve where it would be under constant monitoring. 
For this final clip, I thought I'd leave you with something truly gobsmacking. In January of 2022, this clip would hit the internet and immediately got everyone's attention. Here, we see a bunch of guys doing what appears to be a normal ground study for a project, perhaps a farm or a construction project, who knows. But anyways, as they go on, their devices start to detect that there may be a snake around. But even though they were professionals, what they saw would absolutely rock their minds. They finally got to the location of the snake and began digging, and believe me, this was not a pretty sight at all. After several rounds of digging, the guys finally found what they were looking for. They kept breaking the ground open until they finally saw the massive serpent coming out. Now honestly, I just have no words for what I've showed you here today. What do you think though? Would you be able to hold your own with these creepy crawly creatures? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any videos in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.